<laughs> That's awesome. You can't rate that stuff. That's just gold. Thursdays. Did we start? Yeah, oh, okay. it's rolling. It's this rolling. is the beginning. Yeah. Yep. How are you guys start. doing? Good start. Good start. Another beautiful day on the prairie. Um, yes, it is. So you notice it is Thirsty Thursday, but I think we're going to start maybe doing every now and then we're going to do a casual Thursday because every workplace has a casual Friday. We're just going to do sandals casual, with socks. Casual bro, Thursday. sandals with socks, bro. So we're gonna do that. The main reason I forgot my clothes at the house. I don't want to go across town, but we'll leave the it at whole that for four now. blocks across town. <laughs> Who's joking? I don't own clothes. <laughs> this is one set. Yeah. It was all it's in. Homer Simpson. It. Yeah. It's just khakis and a blue shirt. Yeah. Just, I'll wear this for in every the gear once yeah. in a while. Every episode I'll wear this. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna start out this week. We don't have a Super guest. Super casual. Yeah. Casual. Super casual. So I'm going to slouch down six inches. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, no. We had a guest last week. Straight. And we right. had uh, Peter Daly last week. So we got it lined up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Next. Like puberty or something? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I'm younger than you may think. Yeah. But, uh, it's, so, you know, we're going to get. Peter Daly's his own guy. And we learned a little bit of history about him and how he came about joining Battle Axe and everything. But he also works with a young fellow by the name of Bombay, Gordon Bombay, and uh, Bombay is one half of DMB, and that was not really yeah. a planned thing. It was their first show. They just kind of, well, I'm daily, you're Bombay, or it's just DMB. And so we'll have Bombay here next week, another yeah. guest, but we'll keep, keep it casual. Yeah, right? so keep yeah, it casual. Casual Thursday. It doesn't have that same ring to it. We should have like a... Man, they should make like a throwback <laughs> Thursday. That'd be awesome. Yeah. We should invent that. That should be a thing. Throwback Thursday. Why isn't be... anybody doing that? Yeah. So with that in mind, we should probably begin Thirsty Thursday. That's our thing. Yeah. Thirsty that's Thursday. That's our Sounds thing. Sounds like a thing that should uh, be okay, so we pretty should... frequent. We call it Thirsty Thursday. So my part, time for my favorite new segment, my favorite part. So my part time for my favorite new segment, my favorite part. You have its taste test. Yeah. And Check it out. what do you got? I never know these things. <laughs> Robert's the connoisseur. Oh, surprise. He's I've always... had this once before, this was like five years ago. And with that, it's interesting. You guys might have had it. This around Saskatchewan. What do you, what do you got? What do you got? Try to reach. Oh, don't tell me that's what it is. It's cold. It's cold. That's a bonus. The flying monkey. The flying monkey. And the picture is right there. You oh. can see it. It's cold. Does it have hibiscus? No, it no. could have a little bit. Hibiscus? High. No, 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 no. No, it's full of biscuits. <laughs> it's full of biscuits. No, I thought. I thought. Now, we were talking great. earlier about yeah. something else. It's an inside joke. Yeah. And okay, Just uh, hash hashtag Studio C. Hashtag Studio C. That'd Check it out. Do your homework. Absolutely. And that's all family, family friendly. Everybody loves it. It's not a business. It's the complete opposite of what we're doing right now with the smoking and the drinking. <laughs> this is a family thing. You can check it out. I would promote that. I Absolutely. What are, what are we drinking here? Uh, it's called the flying monkey, but the nice thing about these, I think when you pop the cap, there's like a, it's like a fortune cookie. There's a little thing on the bottom of the cap that tells you. Oh, how Asian it is. Yes. <laughs> how so? <laughs> so, I'll, I won't even look at the bottom of my... Oh, we have a wreck. What the hell? <laughs> that's awesome. You can't write that stuff. That's just gold. That's gold. Oh. Good thing you're dressed casual. Yeah. <laughs> if it was my back oh, oh my god, you're gonna have to get it pressed, take it to a steam cleaner. I got my goodness. Apparently I was too excited. <laughs> but I dropped my The cap. flying monkey just jumped right out of your bottle. Of yeah. Okay. So, well tell me what the, tell me what the cap has to say. How about that? 
You will get soaked by opening this drink. <laughs> you have to get, okay, pull my other leg. Okay, it says... <laughs> okay. Jesus loves you, but <laughs> I'm his favorite. <laughs> what? What the hell? That's right there. <clears throat> what the hell is that? It says... Jesus loves you. As I'm covered in beer, so yeah, obviously. Well, he's pretty excited it's a rig. about you. And... Well, so do you want to wait? No, you want to do the honors. <laughs> okay. I'll open it up. I'll be prepared for a little bum rush here. Mm -hmm. What the? Oh, there he is. There it is. That's a flying monkey. Apparently, we're not. Okay. Apparently, the flying monkey likes to pop off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they like to fly out the bottle. That's not. False advertising at all. Flying <laughs> over the bottle, that's pretty yeah. good. They're actually flying, yeah, so. It's a optical illusion, but it does. I must have to say, there's no illusion about it, it's blowing up and popping top. Yeah. Oh, that's, that was my that's something. Yeah, check your fortune. <laughs> Work is the curse of the drinking classes. <laughs> Amen. If you're working and you're Amen. drinking, you're joining us here now. For a thirsty so Thursday. Cheers to you and to many more. For the casual Thursday, which has become already, we're like, what, five minutes in? It's a right mess. But. Yeah, well, we got some cleaning up to do, I guess. So we will promote it, I guess. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's worth good. promoting. No, it's I would different, agree. right? I'd definitely grab a sixer. I mean, they put a lot of money into that label alone. <laughs> so. Yeah. I would, uh, I would promote it to the girls at the party and check out my flying monkey. You know? <laughs> and then you offer them the beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that thing where you do with that one. That's funny. Anyway. So my Chewbacca's getting wet. Since it, <laughs> if I got a nickel <laughs> for every time I heard that. And then my, oh, and then this is getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep it casual. Again, we have no gas. So how about uh, we get into, everybody knows that my brother and I, we started Digital Keys DJs. <clears throat> right there somewhere. I think we could put, your, think, oh, bam, boom. Oh, all right, Digital oh, Keys DJs. One so, more time. Boom. <laughs> okay, so with that, we do have the lovely keys. cheese button. I love yeah, that. because it's right there. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll quit that shit. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so we, we got the, got, yo, is that a cheap plug? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Yeah, that's Robert's best friend, yeah. I was looking up too high, I think it's about there. Some men have dogs and Robert's got a cheap plug. Yes. So anyway, we're going to get into some stories, how about that, about the DJ. So the DJ thing, how it all come about and why we have a DJ company. It's not because I'm a rapper or I, I rap or anything. That's just kind of clashes, but uh, I moved to Saskatoon fresh out of high school. Moved in this house, Justin owned the place. Uh, met this guy, late night, sitting around the kitchen table having some beers, house party. Talking music and how my dad raised me on playing all kinds of music and knowing how to really bring a party to life. Even when I was in high school, I was a guy pumping tunes at every party. So, What yeah, kind of music though? Let's start with it. Let's say. Oh, it was everything from CCR to to uh, John. Well, Dire yeah, Straits. Dire Straits, yeah. yeah. George Thorogood, yeah. Good, yeah. And cannot forget Burton. The Guess Who. Yeah. yeah for sure. And then you get BTO and Burton out of that. Yeah. And it was just, you know, and playing just everything, all the classics, Summer '69, all those things. So I had a good verse in like what I didn't realize was what you play at weddings. So talking with this guy, he gave me this job with the most respected man other than my father in the world, outside of construction and life. Uh, Gil Campbell and Dance Land DJs, he gave me my shot. He put another boom. Yeah. He deserves Dance the boom. Dance Land DJs. He deserves yeah. the boom. That One, is. two, three, and boom. boom. <laughs> Dance Land DJs. Gil Campbell, hell of a man, stand-up individual, can just smash the keys, quite the penis. Uh... That's how you say that, right? I hope so. Or it else is? we're in a whole different genre. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, not working with Dance Land DJ. So I'll share a couple stories with you about Dance Land DJ. So the crazy times. 
I went to Davidson. They all knew me there. And what is it? I can't recall the name of the bar. Anyway, I show up. It, oh, it was a Halloween thing. That's what it was. Right. And it was best dancer. And this guy comes up. This is a good one, eh? Yeah. So this guy comes up. He says, I'm going to win the best dancer contest. Oh, yeah. I'm like, right. oh, yeah. Okay, good for you. And he's not even in the costume. And then this girl comes up and she says, I'm gonna win best costume. I'm like, you're not even in a costume. I don't know what it is that you're wearing, but it ain't a costume, you're like, you're just yourself. Well, I'm a girl going wild. I'm like, well, we'll just see about that. Casual And Thursday. so, yeah, we're, <laughs> we got her, well, we got him dancing. And I don't know, this guy must be a male dancer or something. <laughs> it's like, he had the moves and he was like working on the dance floor and this and that. And he did pretty good. And then the girl come up and it was the best costume. And she's like, and I awarded the best costume to someone who had a good costume and she was upset about it. So then she just like whipped her titties out and started like flopping around and like getting crazy. And so this guy took offense to that and he comes out on the dance floor. And so like he, he starts really working his groove. I don't know if they were together. They might be maybe swingers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But they're all like 22 years old, I, who knows? Not important. The important part is he went to dick up and did a helicopter in front of everybody. And I was like, whoa! So I like looked away, I was like, that's a little too far. And I'm like, okay, the, the, the cheers went down, I looked back. And like the drunkest 50 some year old guy with a beard and he's just rough. He's got his, he's got his pants down around his ankles and goes stumbling across the floor with a big bush. All you see is Bush, and he crashes into a table and flips over the table, and like half the room goes flying in the corner. It's yeah, great. He's, he's awesome. Uh, that one was pretty wild. Um, there's probably more. There's too many to even. I did it for know. ten years, working for Gil and Dan Sign DJs. Boom. And so and, when, uh, this is why we now have digital keys DJs. Boom. <laughs> so we gotta thank Gil with Danceland DJs. Boom. Oh, you gotta be more. Oh, no, I was yeah. not ready for that. So, Wait. anyway, uh, yeah. Is, so if you want to be a DJ, yeah, call us. Yeah. Hey, we'll help. Great we'll help plug. That's a good plug. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. No, good plug. Hey, if you want experience in DJing, like we're not like. Like Skrillex, like that kind of a DJ. We just, I, I bring is my it, attitude, it? my liveliness, my just happy to be there vibe, and I vibe the room. I control the room, bring them up and down with slow dances from like the Righteous Brothers back up to like twists and turns with the old folks to like bumping some stuff from Black Eyed Peas to today. Absolutely. But the stuff I'm not real fond of, but we play the chain smokers and everything else later in the night. Wow. If look anybody look wants into we got a Facebook page. If anybody around DJs. the cut knife area, like yeah. let's say the Lloyd And even if you're in anywhere around the Saskatoon area, like I can refer you yeah. to Gil. To Gil. Boom. <laughs> we we can get you a DJ. So another reminder, stay tuned next week. We got uh, uh Gordon, Gordon Gordon Bombay, one yeah. half of D and B. Kind of He's a we fellow did. Bax War MB member. From, yeah, and global. shout out to all the global members. I know we're going through a big change right now. We do not want to be grouped into some sort of a fan club. We are not a fan club. We are a family. We are. And uh, it is Battle Axe Global for life. I am in this for the long haul. Yeah, and we are just That's doing fine. this to get, once again, so you get to know me a little better. And I am promising you, you will see an EP from me soon. So... You know, have a safe weekend, guys. Keep it real, really. Yeah. And with that, and I guess, I mean, cheers. More beers, that's it. That's all. So, shout out to Global Battle Axe.